grid connection, grid stability, microgrids. These are important topics and Huawei Solar Fusion offers solution for all of this. Let's have a look. Hello and welcome to the InterSolar 2023. We are here right now at the booth from Huawei again. The second day with us is the solution manager, Berg Vanderwert. Hi, Berg. Good morning. What solutions, what innovations do you have for the utility sector? Well, what we are showing here uh, today in this show uh, is very much an evolution of uh, the technology that we've been using in the, in the solar industry for almost 10 years now. Uh, so the, the main products that we are demonstrating is, of course, the utility solar inverter and energy storage. Um, and these technologies, uh, we, we are actually trying to improve the products from being a grid following function to grid forming. Uh, because as the energy transition is completing and we're adding more and more renewable energies into the electrical grid, stability of electricity is becoming a main issue. Um, so that is why we are improving the technology, we're adding smart technologies uh, to make a solar PV plant actually work like a real power plant. Uh, so for example, I can demonstrate to you, you have, let's say, electrical generators, they're bringing electricity to do the house. Um, and in the past, if there would be a short circuit in some of the high voltage grids, you would have a power failure. And it could take up to days to restore the grid. And all the times, the consumers would be left out of electricity. Now, with grid forming technology, if there is a short circuit in a high voltage grid, it takes some time to restore it. But within, let's say, a few hours, we can bring back electricity to the households. And this is a function uh, that's becoming more and more important for the, for the electrical grid. Um, Speaking product-wise, of course, we have the 330 KTL inverter uh, for large-scale uh, utility solar electric, uh, solar electric uh, PV. Um, and then we have uh, large-scale uh, energy storage, uh, two megawatt hours and up. We can build up to 1.4 gigawatt hours. Uh, currently in the Saudi Arabia is the Red Sea project, which is in fact a microgrid. Uh, so we have solar PV, we have energy storage, and that as a whole is now delivering electricity to a few hundred thousand households. Right. So this is a story for the grid connected part, but you also have microgrid yes. solutions. Uh, so microgrid, uh, you can make microgrid for a single house. You can make microgrids for small villages uh, like in Africa as uh, rural electrification. And you can make microgrid for an entire island. Uh, or an entire coastal area. Uh, so we have a very nice project that we are currently deploying in uh, Saudi Arabia. Uh, it's the Red Sea project. Uh, and the Red Sea project is providing stable electricity purely from solar energy with energy storage in a self-contained microgrid to up to 100,000 households. Wow, this is really huge. So which range do you cover? You have smaller project and really huge projects? We can cover projects from one megawatts to gigawatts. The limit is endless. That's amazing. It is, yes. And are there other products you can show to us maybe? Of course. Or is so speaking product wise, we have the new 330 KTL inverter. It's the largest solar inverter that we are introducing today capable of running up to high temperatures, more than 50 degrees Celsius, tracker control, uh, and we have, uh, let's say, a new DC technology that safeguards uh, the inverter in case there is a failure on the DC side. So rather than using fuses, we are now implementing a circuit breaker inside the inverter to make sure that there's nothing that can break down inside the inverter when there is a failure outside the inverter. So this is the one which has won the award this year, right? Yes, this is uh, this won the award, the InterSolar Award for 2020. Is this available already? Or it is currently available. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So this is your smart storage uh, solution? Indeed. This is our smart energy storage or smart string energy storage. And we're bringing this down now to the industry. We released it earlier this year. Uh, and it is uh, one of the few systems that is actually still air-cooled. 
uh, as we believe that uh, contrary to the classical uh, centralized liquid cool systems, there is uh, problematics with, um, for example, maintenance, uh, uptime, uh, because any defect in the, in the cooling system, whether it be the chiller plant or the piping or pump, uh, it will always immediately result in the shutdown of the entire system. Uh, so what we're doing as a main technology improvement here is that we are decentralizing the entire setup of the, the battery. So we have a decentralization of the battery modules, we have a decentralization of the DC management, and we have a DC decentralization of the DC to AC conversion. So meaning any, of the, or any failure inside one of these components will never constitute in the, in the shutdown of the entire system. And so we are improving safety, we're improving capacity, we're improving reliability, and this is, of course, very important to make sure that you have a stable output of electricity. Thank you very much, Berg. This sounds like a smart solution uh, with less risk, I think. And uh, good luck for you for the trade fair. Good business. Thank you very much. And who now wants to get more information, please visit the website of the company down here. <laughs>